Hi, I'm Julie Montgomery Brown and welcome to Actress Approved. I wanted to start this channel because I am constantly being asked for tips. Tips about everything. Tips about hair, makeup, books, travel, cooking, you name it, everybody wants tips. So I thought I would do this channel just to get all of that stuff out there and give me a platform to be able to share all this cool stuff that I find out about. Um, just by way of background, I am an actress. I do a lot of commercials, uh, TV, film, some theater, and a boatload of voiceovers as well. So um, I live in London. Well, actually, that's a story. I'll tell you that later. Uh, I moved to London from New York. I uh, met my husband in New York, and then he's Dutch, and we moved to London. So I've been in London for about 10 years. But I wanted this channel to be able to transcend sort of geographical location. So this will, when I talk about something that's available in the UK, I'll offer something up that's available in the US and vice versa. Um, so let's get started. I think what I'm gonna do for my first one is I'm going to just keep it simple. I'm just gonna talk about a few things that I'm totally loving right now. Um, the number one thing that I get asked about is what I do for my skincare. I have a very particular skincare. My skin is really, really sensitive. So, you know, if I put on any product that is even mildly irritating, I will break out. Obviously, with what I do, that's definitely not a good thing. So I try to keep my skin as clear, and I also try to have a routine and do it consistently. The one thing that people talk about is not taking their makeup off at night. That is probably the number one thing I would highly recommend. Please do not ever sleep with your makeup on when you go to bed. It's, it is really pretty much the worst thing you can do for your skin. So I have discovered a cleansing balm that I am completely in love with. This is the Emma Hardy cleansing balm. Um, it is absolutely amazing. She's very cool. This is the Moringa cleansing balm. She um, found this plant or tree, I should say. It's the Moringa tree. It has all these healing properties you can use. The bark and the leaves and the seeds, everything from the tree you can use. It's got high antioxidants and uh, she packs all of this into this. She's a very well-known um, skincare person here in the UK. This stuff, oh, my God, it's amazing. You can see it's got a really, really thick, thick consistency. Um, you just put this all over your face. It smells absolutely delicious of um, tons of essential oils in here. And it's the thing that's interesting about this is it's not greasy. So you put it all over your face at night uh, before, after, you know, to lift all the makeup off. And then you just take a, well, in the UK, they call these flannels. <laughs> in the US, we call it washcloth. So you stick this under a bunch of hot water and then you just press it onto your face for about 30 seconds, a minute, and then you wipe all your makeup off. I cannot explain how amazing this product is. It, it smells absolutely divine. After you've done it, your skin will feel so moist and clean and fresh and just, it really gives it a bounce and a glow. Now, usually when I'm taking off my makeup, I will do a double cleanse because as much as I love this cleansing balm, I think you need to need that added extra step, especially when you've had a lot of heavy makeup on from a shoot or anything like that. So the next thing I use, which uh, I have to say, I really love this stuff, is the Tata Harper cleansing oil. So after I do my cleansing balm, I just pump a little bit of this on, rub it off, and again, I will use my washcloth to take that off as well. This stuff is amazing. She um, has a whole organic farm where she makes all of her own products. This thing smells amazing, and again, because it's organic, because it's all natural, it won't, you won't break out from it. Um, this is also available at Sephora. Um, Space NK in the UK is now carrying it, thank God. Um, otherwise, you can order it online. But this is one of my all-time favorite products. And I mean, look at this beautiful bottle. I have to tell you, I save the bottles because it's so gorgeous. And sometimes I put a 
little budget something in there for my guest bathroom. <laughs> so they think they're having some really fabulous experience, but actually it's, you know, from Boots or CVS or something. Anyway, um, the other thing that I have been on the hunt for for a long time is a budget body cream. Body creams are tough because a lot of them out there have, they smell like mango or strawberry or something equally disgusting that you really do not want in your body cream. Um, I wanted something, I wear Coco Mademoiselle quite a bit and I have the body cream for that, which is really thick and luxurious and I love it. Except that I do find if I wanna wear a different fragrance, um, it doesn't always layer well. So what I wanted was something that was an everyday moisturizer, something that I could layer any fragrance on top of it, um, but that still had some kind of smell. I didn't really want anything fragrance free. So I have been on the hunt. I've been looking for a long time and I finally found this Nivea Firming CoQ10 body cream. I love this stuff. This stuff is amazing. It smells it smells so good. It's fresh. It's clean. Um, it's even, you know, it's thick. Can you see that? It's really, really thick, but yet it's not greasy. And that's tough. It's hard to find a body cream that's thick and it, this, I'm going to even say it. It's kind of luxurious. You wouldn't expect that really from a drugstore brand, but it really is. And I cannot tell you how much I love this scent. You pretty much could wear any fragrance on top of this. But then the other thing is, is that you almost wouldn't need a fragrance because it smells so good. So you'll just smell clean and fresh and noticeable. Okay, then the last thing I wanna talk about today, cause I was gonna keep this short. I wanted to do, talk about a book, but I'm gonna tell you, I've decided that I'm gonna talk about a cookbook because I have been using this incredible cookbook that I am so excited about, Jamie Oliver, Five Ingredients. This guy is completely genius. I love, love, love this book. Um, I have made many things out of this. I, I think what's so genius about it, I'll just turn to something that I've actually made. Um, this is the roast tikka chicken, okay? Look what he's done. He's put the five ingredients in a picture here, the recipe, and then a picture of the finished product. I love this format because obviously there's only five ingredients, I can see them. Um, and I like having pictures. So what I don't like is when I get a cookbook that doesn't give me a picture. And that's what I think is so great about him is he always gives you a picture for the recipe. I don't know why, I just find it inspiring. So it's a lot more inspiring to see the picture than it is just to see the, the text from the recipe. But this book is fantastic. This tikka, roast tikka chicken, which we are gonna make. I'm gonna make, that's one of the things I wanted to do on this channel. Um, yeah, there's so much stuff I wanna do here. So one of the things we're gonna do is we're gonna cook. And my kitchen's right there, so we're gonna go into the kitchen and do some cooking. This is another thing that he did that I completely loved is lamb shoulder. This again is the easiest recipe ever. You throw all of this stuff in a pan, literally, put it in the oven for about, I don't know, six or seven hours. And that's it. It's a great dinner party dish because then you don't have to you know, do anything. You just, your guests show up, it's been in the oven, you pull it out and you throw a, a couple of greens next to it and you're good to go. So. Jamie Oliver, five ingredients, highly, highly recommend, easiest cookbook around, absolutely delicious, packed with flavor. I don't know how he does it. He picks five ingredients and these things taste like they've got 20 ingredients. Um, so that's it. I am really excited you guys tuned in. I hope you tune in again. And I've got all kinds of ideas that I want to do on this channel. Um, yeah loads and loads of stuff. So for the first couple of weeks, I'll keep it pretty simple and just some basic stuff, but then we're gonna really expand and do some cool things. We're gonna do some travel. Um, I'm gonna show you, yeah, all kinds of recipes and we'll continue with some products and we'll talk about books and workout routines and online um, exercise apps and all that kind of stuff. So 
Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and if you like the video, please hit like, and any comments below are greatly appreciated. Okay, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.